I am back with a video on an amazing Brompton flaw I just discovered. It almost ended up ruining my frame. But before I get into the story, if you are new on this channel, this channel is about small wheel rides of any kind. Could be bikes, could be scooters, could be even motorcycles. I talk about a lot of bike tech based on 40 years of experience riding. So if this is something that interests you, please subscribe. I also have a link below if you click on the link it'll go to a resource page where you can actually click into the pages of the various products i have reviewed so far this is good for making purchases it's good for researching just to get more information so back to the story as some of you might know i ride a brompton bicycle i have electrified myself it tops out around 700 750 watts which is an enormous amount of power for a, a hub motor in the front and I was out riding a few days ago when the front bag just suddenly fell off and I realized that the screws that hold the front bag to the, the frame became loose heaven knows when I've been riding the setup for five years I never knew that you were supposed to tighten the screws or that they could come undone I have never ever tried to remove the, the front carrier block so this is what it looks like the front broke right at the level of the frame at the top and the bottom screw broke also but somewhere deep within the hole now to undo something like this it is nearly impossible because you would have to drill into rock hard steel with a tiny bit without breaking the screw, without breaking the bit in, without breaking the tread. The tread is most important. So I was really in a tough situation. This is what the screws looked like. The longer one came out of the top. The shorter one, no, the shorter one came out of the top. The longer one came out of the bottom. But you can see that even the bottom one is broken. So the Brompton has many little flaws and problems such as not being able to take a two inch wide tire having an unusual diameter for the wheels um, Brompton not selling wider tires they don't promote them a lot of little, little aggravations that can be fixed um, as far as the, the front block is concerned if you destroy the, the tread because of a broken screw that connects the, the carrier block to the frame you're going to be in real trouble because you're never going to be able to attach uh, a bag to the front of the frame. Of course, you could still use a handlebar bag, which is what I ended up doing, but uh, that's not ideal. The ideal thing is to have your stuff precisely attached to the frame through the front, which is which was just such a brilliant idea from Brompton. No other bicycle does this and I had mine loaded up typically 13 pounds when the bag broke I measured the weight of the bag it weighed 13 pounds the official uh, weight rating for the front carrier block from Brampton is 22 pounds so I was way below I was nearly not much more than half of the maximum allowed weight the problem was that I did not periodically check and tighten the screws which is just so aggravating Finally, after three hours of very slow, gradual grinding and drilling, I was able to get the top screw out. As you can see, you can see the top part that, that is broken in the middle there. I used a small bit and I just drilled and drilled until a little hole formed. It took literally hours. And then I used an extractor which I bought in small size. This can be bought from uh, online places but uh, locally Fortunately for me, one of the hardware stores had it, so I was able to unscrew it. Once you have a little hole in the middle of the screw, it's actually not that hard to unscrew whatever is left in the tread in the, in the hole. So I was quite lucky, but uh, totally exhausted by the time I was done with it. The next day, I spent another three hours drilling out the other half, which was much more difficult because it's deep inside the hole and it's very hard to reach in I broke the two uh, small diameter drill bits that I had to do it but eventually it did, did come out and it's amazing that, that I was able to remove it 
in some cases if this happens to you you're not going to be able to get the screw out you will just destroy the only way that you can attach a front back to the frame not to the handlebar the battery which I carry in the front bag weighs only eight pounds so it's really not a big deal and in my opinion if you keep the screws tight the front carrier block is going to be enough you can put uh, a big electric battery mine is uh, a little over 13 amp hours good for about 50 miles of riding so it's really great I've had it for five years um, if you buy an electric Brompton from the company direct you can see that they have a different attachment nobody knows what's inside that plastic box obviously the plastic thing in the front covers a bunch of wires but there is also an attachment of all of that plastic to the frame itself and they either bolted it on or they might have uh, might have uh, merge the, the metals by using mitering which is the way the Brompton uh, frame is put together so if that's the case it is not something you can remove I checked and somebody I know has, a, has the electric Brompton from the factory and there's no way you can get to a screw or anything so the Brompton idea is that you're not supposed to bother it and so the, I guess this is one of the advantages of getting the getting the actual Brompton approved electric bicycle rather than building it uh, yourself in my opinion I built a bike that is at least three times as powerful as the Brompton um, the official version in so I think it's worth building it but you really have to watch out how th the weight is going to be carried indeed not even just if you have an electric bike even if you just uh, you like to shop you like to load up the bike in the front you have to periodically check the screws to make sure they they are tight enough Brompton has no information on on monitoring the screws or how to tighten them what level of pressure you want to apply in any case I've decided to replace the stock front block with something that in my opinion is better looking and better designed I got mine from Etsy as you can see they are not that expensive certainly not a lot more expensive than replacing the original plastic block and the benefit of some of these metal designs is that they have a space frame design you can see through them once you remove the, the bag you can see if the screw is properly in or not without even having to check it with the tool so I really appreciate that if I would say if if you use the front bag a lot not to mention if you're storing something heavy in there I would recommend replacing the original plastic front block with, with something made of metal but again I, I have just ordered mine I have no experience using it I cannot fully endorse it but it just looks like a much better design here is the front block I ordered for myself perhaps because it has the crazy color I like the fact that it is all metal you can see that there is even a bit of wiggle room in the way the holes are drilled into it so you can move the block a little bit up or down which is really nice and the trigger is also made of metal not plastic I don't see why Brampton is, is cutting corners with all these plastic things plastic here plastic there a little bit of metal would make the bike a lot more sturdy in fact ideally this this block should be mitered into the metal so we would never have any trouble with it but in any case it is what it is this is it for the current video I just want to add that for those that worry about the conflict in Ukraine spiraling out of control you don't need to worry because I hear President Biden is going to send Superman over to the Ukraine and that's going to bring the enemy on his knees within the next two weeks so there's no question Putin has nothing against Superman technology no need to worry this is it I'll see you in the next video